ഹായ് ദിസ് ഇസ് മുഹമ്മദ് റഫീഖ് വെൽക്കം ടു മൈ ടെക് ചാനൽ ഇഫ് യു ന്യൂ ഹിയർ മേക്ക് ഷുവർ ക്ലിക്ക് ദാറ്റ് സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ബട്ടൺ ആൻഡ് എനേബിൾ ബെല്ലൈക്കൺ ഫോർ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് നോട്ടിഫിക്കേഷൻസ് ഫോർ മൈ ഫ്യൂച്ചർ വീഡിയോ അപ്ലോഡ്സ് In this video, I am going to show you how to fix the synchronization issue on Outlook 2010 and above versions with IMAP settings. There are many methods to fix this synchronization issue. So let us go and see how to fix this issue. Method 1. Create new Outlook profile. for that just open uh, control panel and here you can see mail option just click that one it will open mail setup window and here you can see profiles option and click show profiles and here you have to add new profile for that just click add and enter a new profile name click okay it will open email configuration window and here i choose manual setup click next here i choose uh, imap uh, settings click next in this window you have to enter your uh, email uh, configuration details account type i choose uh, imap so that just click more settings and click outgoing server check this option which is my outgoing server request authentication click advance tab here you have to put the imap port number and smtp port number okay click next click close click finish now new profile is created and here always use this profile choose your newly created profile click apply okay after that try to open outlook and check the synchronization issue solved or not method to change the root folder path for an imap account for that just open your outlook click file and click account settings and again account settings till open account settings window and here just uh, select your email and uh, double click till open change uh, account window and here just click more settings and click advanced tab and you can see the folders option and root folder path in this uh, column just type inbox and click okay just click next and 
close finish that's it method 3 change imap folder settings for that just open your outlook and here just click folder and here just click imap folders and it will open imap folders window here just click query and it will show all the folders here and select all folders and click on subscribe click okay after that select one by one and click subscribe and also you have to uncheck this option which is then display hierarchy in outlook show only subscribed folders just uncheck this option click apply ok that's it method for change send and receive options for that just open your outlook and here you can see send and receive just click that one and here just click send and receive groups just uh, it will scroll down and uh, click define send and receive groups and here just click edit and in this window which is send and receive settings all accounts uncheck this option which is get folder unread count for subscribed folders just uncheck this option and here you have to check this option which is use the custom behavior defined below and select only inbox and click ok click close that's it method 5 rebuild outlook data file for that just uh, open your outlook here just click file and click account settings and again account settings to open account settings window and here just uh, click data files and select your email and click open file location and it will open uh, your outlook uh, data file location and first what you have to do is copy this uh, files and save somewhere uh, for safety after that just uh, close your outlook and select your uh, OST file and delete after that try to open outlook And it will recreate uh, your OST file now if you go to the file location you can see it's created new OST file That's it. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if this video was helpful for you, please like the video. And if you have any queries or any questions, please comment below the video. I will look into it.